Hey everyone, it's M, and I'm back with another video. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about something very relatable, especially to those students out there who are currently taking up mathematics. So this video is originally inspired because of this one comment that was left in one of my videos. So I'm not exactly sure who Buchi-san is, but I'm pretty sure that he or she was my previous student. So I thought maybe I could share to you all the things that I did in college that kept me motivated while taking up my math classes as well as some tips that helped me ace my majority yeah majority of my math subjects so for reference I graduated with a degree of Bachelor of Science majoring in physics so we were bombarded with a lot of math so a little disclaimer though I am not a math expert like I'm not really very very good at math but I did somehow manage to ace majority of my math subjects because of the following tips that I will be sharing to all of you guys so I guess that's it for the intro without further ado let's now dive into the actual video so first things first how do you actually become motivated in doing math you know, we all have various coping mechanisms in doing stuff. But the following are the things that help me gain a better perspective of math in general. So first is to acknowledge that math is the language of the universe and it has plenty of real life applications. From calculating your change from your COD purchase to calculating the force that is required to pull you up from bed, math is literally everywhere. You know, some may be saying, bro, I'm still waiting for the time that I can finally use the vectors in real life. Dude, remember the time that you wanted to go on a shortcut from this place to that place? Yeah, you're dealing with vectors right there. <laughs> Second is to daydream of what you will be in the future if you pass that single math subject. So you want to become a civil engineer, a computer scientist, or even a physics professor. Then daydream about it. Fantasize about living that life. It doesn't matter if you're good at math. It's a matter of what you want. This mindset naturally pumps you up to do more effort or to exert more effort in order for you to become better, in order for you to achieve your goal. But Miss Ma'am, I'm only taking up this course because I don't know what I want to be. I'm just going with the flow. I don't even know what's my purpose in my life. <laughs> yep. Classic existential crisis. Been there, done that. <laughs> This stage may also serve as your self-assessment stage whether you're really in for a future that deals with a lot of math. So you have to assess yourself if you're ready for that future. Otherwise, maybe it's best if you look into or you, if you venture into other fields. Maybe you'll eventually find your forte in that field and become the best at it. Basically, Basically, if you establish your purpose in doing maths, then you will naturally become more motivated in attending your math classes. Now, let's head on to the things that help me ace my math subjects. So, first is to copy and understand. You know, when your teacher writes something on a board, don't just copy it try to understand it try to digest every line of the solution and if you're stuck in a certain line then don't forget or don't hesitate to ask your teacher why he or she used that approach in order to solve that problem this is also true with answering problem sets and assignments so my classmates and i were usually given with a lot of problem sets in a short span of time so what we did is that we usually uh, have a division of labor and we assign each one of us a certain problem and they're going to answer it and then the next day 
we are going to compile all of our answers and then we are going to ask our classmates how they came up with that answer why they attacked that problem in that certain manner so in that way we're not only copying we're also understanding if we ever encounter a similar problem during exams then we can just answer it at ease on our own so yeah it's really important to always ask why why did you do this why did you do that so remember don't just copy think and understand it as well second is to practice new lessons learned immediately immediately answering those new concepts that you have learned will help you absorb the topic better if you were a stem major like me then you most probably have heard of this book from louise lighthold the calculus 7. so this book has been my holy grail when i was in college after every new subject i mean every new topic I always go to this book and answer the odd or even, I'm not sure I forgot, exercises in the book because those numbers or those exercises have answers located at the back of the book. So I can just cross check whether my answer is right or wrong. Now you might be thinking, what? You're just cheating because there's already answers at the back of the book. So why <laughs> you know i'm not cheating i actually see this as an exercise to uh, stimulate my higher order thinking skills because if you have or if you know the goal if you have the goal then you are going to find for ways to reach that goal right and in this case you're going to find the solutions on your own in order for you to achieve that answer so it's not cheating, it's you exercising your higher order thinking skills. Constant answering of those problems will eventually help you see a pattern. And a constant encounter with this pattern will help you gain a better understanding on that certain topic. Whenever I'm stuck on a certain exercise, like I'm not really sure of how I will arrive at the answer, I usually just sleep it off or take a nap for how many minutes and then eventually I can just go back to answering that certain exercise and then surprisingly I can then answer that exercise and you know answering a hard problem on my own will actually boost my morale and it kept me uh, it keeps me going right it keeps me going to keep on answering certain problems like that and it also gives me more confidence in attacking certain problems like that so yeah always try to practice new lessons immediately so this is also how i ace majority of my math exams so my professors usually get the questions from that book and since i have already answered those questions then it's almost as if that i was already given a free pass so you see, I compile my exercises in a folder and whenever it will be announced that there will be a chapter quiz or an exam, then I can just go through or scan my folder and then review the solutions and remember the patterns that I have encountered. And that way I can just relax my brain, have a good night's sleep, and I'll be ready to attack the exam for the next day next is to use all resources available aka don't just rely on your professor mm, let's face it not all professors or teachers are good at what they do right i bet you're already thinking of someone right now <laughs> you keep that to yourselves but yeah anyway it's this case wherein students are just left for independent study for self-study and so don't get disheartened by that what you have to do is to utilize and maximize the use of all available resources you see we live in the age that wherein everything is easily accessible and with that said i can definitely say and i quote google is your friend that is usually the line that my professors before 
tells me. So for example, if you're still stuck with doing the derivative, then you can just go onto the search engine and then type there how to get the derivative of the certain function. Then many results will pop up and then you can just scan through them and they even provide you with some techniques like some mnemonics in order for you to better understand or better remember how to actually take a derivative. Then, as for me, I usually go to YouTube and my two most favorite channels in studying, in self-studying, is Khan Academy and Patrick JMD. Those two are my go-to channels whenever I feel lost, like I feel like I need some more supplements supplementary materials to help me understand the topic even better. It is also helpful if you ask a more knowledgeable other. So you can ask a senpai or you can ask someone who have already gone through that certain topic before you. And in that case, you can just ask them for advice, ask them for some techniques and for some things that you need to look out to in solving that certain problem. So you see, it's always a matter of asking someone. It's always a matter of not hesitating and acknowledging that you are lacking at something because it's only then that you are going to improve. So always ask someone and use all the resources that is available to you. And finally, last but not the least, and definitely the most important piece of information is to practice, practice, practice. Math is definitely a hard subject. And in order to be better at it, one must persevere and practice. If you always practice answering math problems, then the more you see math in a different perspective, the more you apply what you have learned, the more you'll be able to understand concepts better. Moreover, sharing your knowledge to people who need some guidance is also one way of practicing in doing math. So I always remember this thing that my professor once told us. He said that study your lessons as if you're going to teach it to someone else and ever since then i always remember that at the back of my head whenever i try to study something i mean not just in math i always be thinking like oh professor should have discussed this in this manner or he or she should have used this analogy for us to understand the certain concept way better it also is a test of my own understanding because if i cannot explain a relatively complex concept to a layman then it simply means that i don't understand that concept at all so yeah that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed watching i hope you learned something and i hope that i would be helpful to your whole venture in doing your math classes so yeah thank you so much for watching if you haven't yet please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever i have a new upload so thank you so much for watching again i don't know how many times i've already said that but anyway see you next video bye bye oh my god that's far <laughs>